Okay, I uh, had a 90 play scrimmage uh, on the game field. Uh, defense completely dominated the scrimmage. Uh, there was no, no touchdowns from the offense. I believe the offense kicked two field goals. The defense had three turnovers, so they flat got after the offense. It was a little more run oriented. Um, you know, the first one usually is run, you know, run the ball, stop the run. Also won some live special teams. Uh, had about three or four reps of live punt, punt return, just trying to you know, figure out specifically the young guys who can help us on special teams and punters and snappers and everything that goes with that. Um, you know, I'd say the positive without looking at the film and all the details, it really confirmed that we do have a bunch of young guys that's going to have a chance to help us. Um, you know, there's nobody in specific that really stands out to me other than the fact that when you look at it big picture, we had some young guys that were really flying around and trying to do what they were coached to do and, and made some plays also. Questions? Was Duke out there? No, he was not. And like I said, I'll tell you when he gets back. Has there been progress on his end? I'll tell you when he gets back. You, know, so you talked about the, the defense. Any of that, I mean, I know you haven't watched the film, but any of those young guys really make You know, I mean, a big picture, I'm looking at everything and trying to administrate. I mean, the only thing that really I can say 100% is Carl Lawson. Uh, is He's about unblockable. Gus, did you get Austin Golson back like you'd hoped, or are you still being? Uh, no, no. We, uh, I mean, he won't be long. Uh, you know, we, we want to be smart with him. It won't be long at all before he's back. To see the defense like that in, in this first scrimmage, does that only reaffirm for you that your decision to bring in Will? Oh, uh, no doubt. I mean, that, that uh, you know, we hadn't had a uh, any scrimmage since you know I've been the head coach. Uh, that we've had a dominant defensive performance like that in a scrimmage, so that's very exciting. Even in a run-oriented scrimmage out of Jeremy? Uh, he was solid. I mean, he didn't throw it much, uh, but, you know, a lot of it, you know, we, we didn't have him live, obviously, you know, so we didn't have him running the ball. But, uh, you know, there wasn't a, wasn't a whole lot of passing as far as he's concerned. I think he only threw it four or five times. And, and I will say this, too, you know, everyone played. Uh, each group, we had three groups, and each group had about 30 plays apiece. So. You said it mostly run where you didn't, and you said there's three turnovers, so I'm assuming that the running backs had a hard time holding the ball. Uh, you know, I really don't, I think it was more uh, the other skill guys. I mean, there was a fumble, I think, one of the running backs, but it wasn't one of our, uh, wasn't one of the three. Even if, even if you're doing some different things to go than you had the last couple of years with Jeremy, with his skills, does he still understand the offense as well as is it anybody you've ever had? You, you know, I mean, up to this point, I'd say he's, he's right there in the boat. I mean, he's been with us three years, and like I said before, he's got a lot of reps with the ones and had to prepare, you know, like he was a starter a lot of times the last two years, and he played very well. And so, yeah, I think he's got a very good grasp of the offense. Does that make things go more smoothly? You know, I, I think it, it allows the coaches to, you know, really worry more about the people around him and not have to worry about him so much. I'd say that probably is the biggest thing. As far as scrimmages go, is that the best you've seen from a defense? What's that? Is that the best you've seen from a defense here in scrimmage, even though it's just one scrimmage. Yes. So I guess I mean, as much as you're telling me the offense struggled, does that mean you got maybe a good chance to see what your punters look like and maybe any separation? Yeah, he got a lot of punts. There, there's no doubt. Uh, both both the punters got equal reps. I mean, and we didn't like go live as far as that. We just let them like the spring game. We had the snapper, the punter, and a punt returner on fourth down. And uh, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't like I wouldn't say it was it was bad or I'd have noticed that, but I'm not ready to say it was great. You know, but they got a lot of opportunities to get out there and work on their get off time and their angles and everything that goes with it. Once we see film, I can give them more specific. Gus, is carry on, is he working just as a, a, a pure tailback or is he doing other, other yeah, things? Yeah, right, right now we're just trying to give him a good foundation of, of the tailback uh, position and we'll see where that goes, you know, after time. You know, so as an offensive guy, when you have a guy like Carl on the other side, mm -hmm. how much does that change an offense when you have somebody that, that that can play at that level. Well, you just got to know where he's at. You know, there's no doubt about that from an offensive standpoint. He, he disrupts. I mean, he's a disruptor. And a lot of times, even if he's not making a play, he disrupts stuff for other people. Did Byron get to work with the ones at all? Uh, you know, I'm not for sure. Uh, I'm not for sure if he did or not. I don't think he did. Yeah. With the uh, offense not doing a whole a lot today, you think about doing another scrimmage or well, we have another scrimmage on Saturday that we're planned and uh, we're definitely doing that and we'll kind of see where we're at after that scrimmage determine you know what we do after that how important is it to 
what was today's stretch for the freshmen? Is this the point where you start? Well, very, very, you know, and we gave them a lot of reps. We gave them a lot of reps on special teams too, but that was by design so we could properly evaluate them. And like I said, just from a big picture standpoint, watching the scrimmage, there were some guys that you could say, okay, yeah, you know, they, they've got a real chance or motor, you know, wanting to play and, and everything with that. Speaking of freshmen, is there something that you look forward to say, to tell you this guy is, is ready to do this or is not? Yeah, you know, usually um, when you get an 11 11, you put the ball down, you go live, that usually tells you right then. And even if they mess up, you can just tell as a coach, you know, they got a sense for the ball. Uh, you can tell if they're confident. You can tell are they physical? Uh, are they mentally ready? Do they really want to do this right now? I mean, all the above, you take all that in the factor, and as many times as you can get that type of situation and get them that type of situation, it helps you uh, evaluate them. But I'll, I'll bet we'll learn more in this scrimmage than we have, you know, the last uh, three or four practices. Is it accurate to say that you're not as concerned about the offense and how they how they struggled a little bit today? Is it maybe you, you no, assume no, that? No, I mean, I, 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 I think if, uh, I mean, it was encouraging that the offense got whipped. But uh, you know, we got some very good offensive players, and uh, really expect them to rebound. Yes, aside from this scrimmage, when it's money oriented for Ricardo and the receivers, when it's looked at as this is going to be a much more passing oriented offense, and if Duke's back, obviously what he could bring. But for Ricardo, guys only had three hundred yard year, two hundred sixty yard year. He could be in line for obviously a big jump of production. How confident are you that he can go from? those numbers to the possibility yeah. of our receiver. Well, that's the plan. There's no doubt. And that was my challenge to him because he is ready to take that next step. He's just got to do it. He's got all the skills. He's worked hard. He knows the offense. And, and I can tell he's more confident this year. And uh, he's off to a great start. And really starting to establish himself as one of our offensive leaders. And that's what we ask him to do. So he's in a good spot, but he's got to get out there and do it. Do you like the way uh, Coach Muschamp runs his practices to where grades the guy one day, and if he's the best player at that group, he's the starter the next day. Do you think that keeps that competition? No, there's no doubt. You know, like I said before, I mean, he's the best in the business what he does. And you know, his players are, are going to be motivated. They're going to be graded. And they're going to be evaluated. They're going to be coached honestly of where they're at. And uh, that's the way you get better. Gus, how, how different was the defense you saw today than the one that you saw starting spring practice? Uh, you know, I thought they, they've done some good things up this point. But like I said, until you put the football down, I mean, that's when everything becomes very clear. You know, we've been thud and staying up and I've been tracking and getting a <coughs> tackle, but, you know, it was real football today. And uh, Deep just did a good job. Yes, this might sound like a crazy question, but do you, do you ever sit down with Will and him maybe ask you, you know, we throw the ball more just so our freshman defensive backs are probably getting a lot of playing time, just so they kind of actually are out there and they can experience that lot? Well, here's what we do, uh, you know, with Red and Will. We have a lot of meetings, and uh, what what does each group need? Because it's it's always different, and so we try to do that. Now, right now, we're in the foundation part. We're putting in our base offense, our base defense, and we're installing. But as it gets going on in fall camp, you know, we'll be a little more specific, and we want to we want to give both sides what they need. So I visit with with both those guys, uh, you know, on a daily basis. The yeah. Second day of pads is pretty quick to have a, a full scrimmage. Do you think that's an advantage for defense over offense? Uh, you know, I, I don't. I mean, um, it, it's just the same. I mean, it's just the same, especially when you run the football. You know, we, we've had some inside periods, you know, every time we went shells or a full pad. So, uh, bottom line is the defense whipped the offense today. And, you know, from a head coach's standpoint, I kind of like that. When yeah, you get the get out of the scrimmage uh, healthy? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was pretty physical. I mean, there was, it was, it was probably some nicks and bruises, but uh, I think overall, nothing major. With him having a great day, was there any limitations on Carl or, or things you wouldn't no, be cautious no, with at all? No, there were no limitations on him. He was 100%. He's better than he was before, I think. Did you, you think he was excited just to be out there? And I guess that's the first time he's really gotten a chance to do that since yeah. last spring, yeah. the spring before last. Yeah, he, was, he had his game face on. Did you guys actually let the returns go live? We did. Who maybe actually did some of that return? Oh, um, I think Jason Smith um, returned one. I think Marcus Davis returned one. Uh, New Davis, our freshman, uh, returned one. And I think Greg, Greg King returned one. Did any of them at all stand out from any team? No, no, not, not really. I mean, I was looking at the cover and the. Did you 
simulate wind for any of that? <laughs> What's that? Did you simulate wind for any of that? <laughs> Rookie's question. <laughs> <laughs> him, and you're not supposed to ask that question. We didn't simulate wind today, but but we will. Since he brought that up, we're going to incorporate that in fall camp. Yes, look, this is a different year in that with Jeremy coming back and just in the summer wise, preparation fall camp wise. What do you want to see from him? Because obviously, two years ago with Nick, it was him having to win the job, and last year, Jeremy having the yeah. expectation of the first game. What do you, what different do you want to see from him? You know, the expectations are higher for him, you know, as far as execution. Um, you know, like we talked about earlier, he understands the offense very well. So he needs to be very good and very precise on his passes and execution lines. And uh, so that's the challenge. I mean, uh, the challenge for him is to you know, for Coach Lashley, coach him hard, just train him to make him as best he can be. And Jeremy's very coachable and he understands that. And uh, he's really got off to a great start. Like I said before, not just a leader on offense, but really a team leader where the whole team can respect him. And if you got a quarterback like that uh, where the whole team respects him, uh, you got a chance. How's Sean White do today, and how's he preparing to be a guy that could be one play away? Yeah, I think Sean White just big picture, and I think it was, I'd say, it was probably solid. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot negative uh, that I can say. Um, I think he may have threw the ball just a few more times than Jeremy, but uh, some of those were third downs. but. You know, he's in a good spot. You know, I'm not ready to say anything other than he's in a good spot. Gus, uh, did y'all win the scoreboard today? Did that we did. Yeah, we turned the scoreboard on, and uh, it definitely caught my attention. Um, I want to get our players used to it because it's a factor. It's a big factor. And uh, so we just had it on, and uh, we'll do the same thing Saturday. We did, I think we just had a, a still screen up today. I think Saturday we'll have some individual, just like game-type situations to get our players used to it. How is it a factor? What, what what impact does it have on the field? I mean, it's big. And, uh, it's bright, and uh, you can't mess it. I mean, it, it really grabs your attention. How so much you, joking aside, with a bit the wind, but for kicking game for the kicker, specifically on kickoffs and field goals, it might actually have an impact. Do you think Daniel will probably do a little bit more in the stadium before the season starts? Just to highlight yeah, yeah I mean, we'll probably go in there a good good four times before our first game, not just for Daniel, but for our punters uh, and our returners, um, you know, just to get you in. And right now, you know, some days we kick with the wind, some days we kick against the wind, and uh, we'll do the same thing in the stadium. For your, you mentioned the young guys that could possibly help you, but how big of an impact is it that they're in the stadium? I don't know what it's yeah. there, but is that well, a Well, we, we talked about that today before we went there. It's different. We're going to our stadium. And uh, the expectations, we're raising our level. The older guys really kind of prepped our young guys and just, uh, you know, what we expect out of those guys. And, and, uh, I said big picture, I think we got quite a few young guys that can help. And that was probably the, that was one of the encouraging things. Anything else? All right,